हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योर फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एज वी नो सिविल सेंटर इज कंटीन्यूअसली वर्किंग विद द विजन टू गाइड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट एंड प्रोफेशनल एंड फॉर दैट वी कीप मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक एंड ऑन डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर रिलेटेड टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज ऑन टेक्निकल स्ट्रक्चर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन डू द जी प्लस 1 बिल्डिंग डिटेलिंग यूजिंग टेक्निकल स्ट्रक्चर्स नाउ व्हाट वी हैव कवर्ड सो फार इन दिस सीरीज so we have learned the basics of the tecla structures like what are the different commands over here and in those commands what are the different tools that are embedded in it we have also learned about the modeling of different structural members and now we have completed how you can provide the reinforcement in footing and in the rectangular column but in today's session we are going to learn about how you can provide the reinforcement if your column is a circular one so let's start the session so as you can see over here this is our model on which we are working now we will just expand the 3d view and over here i will just go to fit to the entire area of model and your model is visible now okay so now let's select a single column first okay suppose i have to select this column so for that first of all i will switch the view and then i will come over here and next what we can do we can simply change the properties of it for that we have to just double click on it and i can come to this properties section where i can change the properties now in the profile i can go ahead and select for a circular column we also need to define the diameter over here so let's say i want to have a column of uh, let's say 500 mm diameter then apply and then okay now click on modify and you can see this column has been modified if you want to just do the same for this one then you can again repeat the same process go to the section over here choose the diameter assign the needed diameter click on apply okay and then click on modify and it will be modified like this now i have to place some reinforcement over here so first of all i will just simplify the view and to do so i will simply come over here and then i will go to views from there go to work area and to selected part in all views now i can just go ahead and tile it vertically so you can see we have all the views in front of us okay so this is our 3d view and this is our sectional view you can also select it and go for the plan view over here so let's uh, select it and go for control p so this will be our plan view now you can easily identify each and everything so control 1 select this one now go to the application and component box and we will use the same application for the circular reinforcement so we know that our column automated reinforcement layout is app number 57 so we can also search it like that how to search it by name that we have already seen okay so we can go over here double click on it and we will open up the application dialog box so here we have our circular column so here i have to define how many bars i want and what should be the distance between them so this is the number of the main bars suppose i want to provide 10 main bars now what is the size of the bar that i can simply select in the previous manner that means if we 500 let's place it with 16 mm dia bar click on okay and then tie size so we can go for a tie size of 8 mm dia of every 500 grade so we can go for tie or straight up of 8 mm okay so this is the dia 
then the end clear distances i don't want any kind of end clear distances so i will just uh, leave it like this or if you want to just uh, look at the extended version of it then over here you can uh, just go for minus 500 on the top at the bottom let's make it zero then what is the cover that you want to provide so let's make it 40 mm okay then what is the distance of the different stirrups that you want to provide so that I, you can also provide it from here okay if you want to go by default then you can also go like that okay now apply over here so you have to simply click on the column and you will see how it is just applying all the bars in this particular column And you can see the bar has been provided over here okay so like this you can provide the bars in the circular column now you can just zoom it over here and you can see the differences so we can arrange it like this now you can see this is the top view this is the side view and this is the front view of the arrangement of the spacings now if you want to modify it then you can also do that suppose in the application over here you want to modify it like this or you can simply select the bars double click on it go to the circular column and over here if you want to modify then you can also do that like you want to change the spacing over here okay so let's have a look at the spacings suppose you want to change the spacing to 300 and click on modify then you can see the spacing has been changed if you want to change the diameter then you can also change the diameter of the bar suppose you want to go for a bar of 20 mm dia then you can simply modify that and you can see the dia of the bars has been changed if you want to change the number of the bars then that can also be done like this suppose you want to provide eight bars then you can provide the eight bars like this okay if you want to provide 12 bars then you can also do it like this okay so like this you can change anything that you want if you want to change the cover also suppose you want to provide the 50 mm cover then you can also do that just uh, have a look over here click on modify and you can see the cover has been changed now like this you can do any kind of changes that you want in your circular column i hope this will be useful while you are doing the detailing of the columns and guys if you think that you are getting awesome sessions then you can hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues Along with that, if you want to start your career as a building consultant, then you have to just join our free webinar over there. Just go over there, join the free webinar, and you will get a chance to book a strategy call with us. If you want to join our professional trainings, then you can find a link in the description. All you have to do is to go ahead, fill the form, and register yourself, and our team will give you a call. Thank you.